Hi, welcome to Learning Unit 6, Writing a Business Plan. My name is Uzairi, your instructor for this unit. In this final learning unit, you will learn about five main topics. The first one is the introduction and definition of business plan. Second, purpose of business plan. Third, the importance of business plan. Fourth, reader of business plan. And finally, key components of business plan. Business plan is a comprehensive written statement of a business. It describes the important information and key business activities of the business organization, such as product and service, the business organization, stakeholders, strategies, and financial planning. Business plan is prepared as a mean to get a comprehensive overview about the business in a single document. The content, which we will cover later, consists of all aspects of the business. Therefore, it will provide a complete and detailed explanation about the business. Although it describes about the past and present of a business, the main objective of preparing a business plan is to present the future of a business. This is especially important in convincing lender or investor in securing financial assistance and investment. In fact, most of fund application and investor require business plan. As business plan is prepared to provide a comprehensive overview about the business, the process of preparing business plan will help business owner and other internal stakeholders to understand more about their business. Through business plan, they will be able to identify their own strengths and weaknesses, analyze the market and competitors, and identify issues that is hampering their growth. Through these processes, business owner and other key internal stakeholders are able to plan strategies that could shape their business future. In addition, business plan also will assist in identifying financial needs required for the business to grow and to determine future profitability. The reader of business plan may come from internal and external. Internal reader such as board of directors, shareholder and key employees can use business plan to understand about their business strategies, goals, and future planning. This will help them to work more efficient and effective and foster teamwork needed to take their business forward. External reader, meanwhile, may consist of financial institutions such as bank and investment fund, private investors and business partners such as vendors and key clients. Most of the time, business plan is provided to external stakeholders as part of the process of applying financial assistance, securing investment, and forming partnerships. A business plan usually consists of the following eight key components. However, Depending on the objective and the reader, the business plan may be differ in terms of content and format. For example, confidential strategic decision or secrets may not be included in a business plan that is made for key clients. A financial institution, meanwhile, would focus more on the viability and profitability of business. The first component in the business plan is the executive summary. This is the most important part of business plan, where it describes the purpose of the business plan and highlight key information about the business, such as financial resources required. 
The next component is business background, in which information such as historical background, ownership, management team, location, key product and service, and key stakeholders are explained. This part will provide an initial overview of the whole organization. In the third component, which is products and service, detailed information about product and service provided by the business is described. Information such as history, product and service specification, value proposition, selling price and costing, intellectual property or patent will be explained in this part. The next component is market and competitor analysis. In this part, an analysis about market, such as market characteristics, trends, market size, and potential market share will be identified. In addition, information regarding competitors, such as their background, their products and services, strengths and weaknesses, as well as current market share are explained. Finally, SWOT analysis will be done in which business strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats are identified. In the fifth component, which is marketing plan, a detailed description about marketing strategies, product positioning, target market, projected sales, pricing strategy, distribution channels, promotion, and other marketing related activities will be explained. The next component is human resource management. This part will provide a detailed description about board of directors, management team, and key personnel, such as personal details, job description and main responsibilities, salary and benefits, as well as skills and experience. The next component is about operations plan. In this component, the description about activities related to the production of product and service is provided. For example, information on manufacturing facilities, facility layout, equipment, inventory management, key suppliers, production process, operating hours and key materials, as well as part used in the production process. The last and important element in the business plan is about financial plan. This component provides financial information such as financial statement, projected income statement, cash flow statement, balance sheet, break-even analysis, and funding requirement. External reader such as financial institution and investors will focus on this component in assessing the business for financial assistance or investment. For more details on how to write a business plan, you can refer to the website shown in this video. You also may refer to other source of information, both printed and online. That's all for Unit 6, Writing a Business Plan. Thank you for watching.